السلام عليكم ويلكم باك ويلكم باك يو نينجا محمد تشيك ات اوت ام هافينج ان ابيك شاومي مي باد 5 برو تابلت ان ماي هاندز ذا سناب دراجون 870 جيمنج بيست ويل بي دوينج ذا اج ان اس سويتش ايموليشن فيديو رايت ناو تيست وذ ذس ون ريفيو بي تيستينج اول ذيس جيمز بات اولسو ان ابكمينج دايز ويكس ميبي ايفن 2 3 مانس اي ويل بي constantly using this tablet for my video especially in Agnes emulator firstly we're gonna show you my settings uh, which settings I'm gonna use uh, of course all the buying links in the description I'm not able to uh, obviously fit this tablet inside of this <laughs> tiny gamepad you will need to purchase yourself additional 10 11 dollar cable which I will leave in the description guys remember that I'm having the half meter cable but I would advise you to get yourself a one meter cable okay so welcome back ninjas we're gonna test Diablo 3 on uh, Mi Pad 5 Pro on the end of this video we're gonna have the settings how to play this game obviously on an Android device with the best settings uh, so watch it till the end now we're gonna just we are inside of let's just say Home Depot I'll call it like that uh, it's running here 60 FPS full speed here with few uh, hiccups uh, but again this emulation beautiful performance here and beautiful graphics uh, check it out how big this Tablet is insane, is insane, insane to play anything with it. Uh, just maybe a small con for me is that I have a short cable, just half meter. Uh, I would get myself the one meter cable so you can just easily relax on the sofa or something like this. Anyway, let's play it. Let's go. We are recording right now. Let's see how it behaves. Uh, the Snapdragon 870 Diablo 3 right now with enemies around. Will we have some huge FPS drop? So far, it's, it's really crazy. Let me try to put a little bit, okay, a little bit also the brightness down so you can see a little bit better. The screen is very bright. I put it at maximum 600 nits. This is an LC IPS 120 hertz 2.5K screen, guys. So very bright, huge, and super high resolution, man. Watching on this. Everything about this tablet is amazing, man. I can't just specifically target one good thing or to use it for one thing or something like this. Everything which you do with this tablet is amazing. Check it out this Diablo 3 right now running here. What is good about it, guys? What I need to tell you right now, what is good about it is the performance, the stability. Not ready yet. The stability of the chip or stability of the tablet itself is amazing. Uh, in comparison to smartphones, smartphones, a lot of smartphones would overheat and throttle with a, let's just say, Agnes emulator, with emulators. But so far I noticed that, uh, I don't know, it's somehow weird, to be honest, that with the Agnes emulator, uh, most of the smartphones usually less throttle uh, than in, in comparison to the example Daemon PS2 and Dolphin emulator, which is a little bit weird, I don't know how to explain that. It does have a throttling issue, a throttling does happen, but not that extreme as with the other emulators, but uh, the thing is, it overheats. This is uh, this app uses a lot of RAM, and plus, it overheats. It's the, I don't know, you can find other emulators that can heat up, overheat your smartphone to this degree, which this uh, emulator can do. And I talked about this in my special videos about this uh, emulator, and obviously, with the different, different, Gameplays I usually sometimes mention about this topic. The game is still running 60 FPS. I don't know the last time when I had such a steady, steady performance. Uh, with this game like that, absolutely gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is performance which is stunning, stunning for a tablet which it doesn't even have the most powerful Android chip. Snapdragon 870 is after, obviously, the Snapdragon 888 and 8880 uh, Plus. Also, a lot of people are putting Snapdragon 870, uh, Snapdragon 865 Plus uh, on the rank with the Snapdragon 870. Yeah, I'm amazed. Seriously, I'm amazed by the performance. 60 FPS. Let's go to underground there. Okay. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Maybe just put a little bit. Yeah, that should be fine now. Still recharging. Epic. 60 FPS. Let's go here with more enemies around me. 60 FPS. Let's try to find more enemies. 
60 FPS, bro. Trying more enemies here. Okay, guys, I'm right now officially impressed. Every single smartphone where I tested, the, uh, you know, with this game, it was always laggy here. I don't know how. I mean, I I suspect, I suspect uh, because uh, the Mi Pad 5 Pro doesn't overheat, it doesn't throttle, it has amazing, amazing uh, performance st st stability. Uh, with the performance, is amazing. Uh, none, not any single smartphone can beat this tablet and I will be making obviously special video about this I'll be comparing the Poco F3 with the same chip uh, Redmi K40 with the same chip and I'll be doing benchmarking uh, Big big benchmarking with the, these two devices with the same chip and you will see what it means to have a, uh, a Tablet with bigger area Just amazing man. Seriously amazing Check it out, man. The, 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 so many different enemies are running after me, and I'm still, still having here 60 FPS performance. This small glitch we're seeing, this is because I um, Oh, I missed that. Shame. This is because I'm using uh, Adreno 530 Beta. I'm not using a uh, native GPU driver. You play around, play around uh, with the GPU drivers. You have four or five different selections. But it doesn't bother me that much, uh, this small glitch which I'm seeing, it just happens sometimes, but if you want to uh, make, fix it, probably some different GPU drivers will fix this small glitch. To be honest, I, I, can, I can watch this small glitch if I'm gonna have this performance throughout the whole game, it's this crazy that it's still running here, oh, let's see here, I need that, I need that here bro, I need that here. Ooh, check. Guys, come on. Uh, there you go. Now we have somehow, finally, we have some uh, lags here. But I think this is not a uh, throttling issue lag. I think this is just optimization lag. Previously, what I had is the throttling uh, issue and overheating. The tablet doesn't overheat. This tablet doesn't overheat, guys. I'll be showing you also the temperatures. Come on, come on, man. Back to 53. I'm um, also remember that also probably the shaders has to do uh, with the lag. A lot of a lot of time the shaders, the compiling of the shaders have uh, a big big role in uh, FPS drops. Check it out now. Again, same area, 50 FPS. Super awesome, super awesome. I'm telling you, this is guys, amazing result. Amazing result here. Like, see yourself, the performance is getting better, not worse. We had 50 FPS, now we are seeing here 58 FPS, 57, 55, 56 at this area, 56, 54, 55. Oh my god, more of them. Okay, let me just go finish. I think that should be enough of Diablo 3. Let me just show you settings for the ends and I'm going. Uh, let's check it out here. I repeat again, guys, this is me for the first time running this game without storing the cage and everything. Uh, you should rerun this game a few times until the shaders are stored. But remember, you need to enable this uh, enable disk shader cage. This is very important for rerunning the game and having a smoother experience. Anyway, this is what I'm using. And remember that me, this is just a raw test. I didn't even test all these uh, drivers with this game. And this is right now my settings for the Diablo 3. Uh, right now, like you see myself here, it's running really good. And I'm amazed. It was running better than the Snapdragon 888 smartphones. Can you believe that? I'm completely impressed by the performance. Have a great day. Assalamu
uh, temperatures quickly temperatures here checking the temperatures uh, if you are interested in the temperatures let me just see open for you ida 64 we're going to go here to the thermals and check the thermals thermals are amazing just go to the battery battery only 35 degrees guys if the battery is 35 degrees uh, on agonis emulator that's a huge sign this on Snapdragon 888 and Snapdragon 870 devices uh, like smartphones uh, was uh, above 45 degrees. So this tablet is completely cold, guys. This is a cold, cold, complete tablet right now. And I'm amazed and I don't even know how in the heck it's so, so cold with Agonis Emulator. Masalaman.